So this uh, video is about the basic G71 roughing cycle which can be found on HAS controls, CNC lathes and on FANUC controls. Um, it's the most common way to rough out and uh, what it does is uh, you merely have to show it where the material is and then program a shape and it can do the roughing out for you. This is the part I want to machine, it's nothing clever, it's just a round component uh, that I'm going to turn from a solid blank. Um, not sure what material I'm going to say it is, but that doesn't really matter for this. You can see the uh, blank that I'm about to machine. Just turn it around in case you can't see exactly what it is. It's just a round bit of uh, steel uh, that I'm going to turn. So I'm going to just uh, let's just bring this tool in first of all to its start point, and then I'm just going to let it rough this out. Uh, it faces it first, and then this moves away picks up another tool which comes in and then starts to rough this component out so as it roughs it out you can see it's taking the cuts but can you imagine if we'd got to calculate these cuts if you imagine it coming down say to that point you've got to work out where that point is same there, same there, and as it goes around this rad, you would have to work out all these points down here in Z where it's going to come to. Now this cycle is capable of doing all this for you. And the other thing, obviously, is that um, if we want to change anything, once we've got a cycle in there, it's very, very easy to then come back and just say, well, actually, I don't really want a two mil depth of cut, I want three or I want four or I just want one and anything about this cycle we can then change so I'm sure you can appreciate to program that long hand uh, would take quite a while to do. So this is the code um, that we've got for this I've done this on CAD CAM but I mean if you had to write this by hand it's just to demonstrate really just how much code there is, but if you look down there, I'll show you all these lines of code. This is purely just to rough that shape out. So you've got all that lot, and bear in mind that this is quite complex, and it's only a simple part, really. But if you wanted to change even a small thing like so, uh, the amount of metal you want to leave on there for finishing, or the depth of cut, uh, you're going to have an awful lot of work to modify all this lot. Now let's take a look at uh, what the code looks like when we've actually got the cycle in there. So you can see that uh, if you look at where it says tool 4 rough turn, um, you'll be able to see that we've got the can cycle there. Oh, it's not really a can cycle, it's a misnomer that is really, it's a multi-repetitive cycle. Because um, a can cycle is something that you put in and then each time you give it a position, it will do that. But this isn't technically a can cycle, although people do call them that. So I'll excuse you if you do that. But you can impress your mates by saying it's not really a can cycle. Um, this is a G71 multi-repetitive cycle. And if you look, the shape that we're going to machine is enclosed um, by two N numbers. You've got N100 and N110 and that is the actual shape that we're going to machine around so what the cycle very cleverly does if you look at the P100 and a Q110 is that it, um, it it looks at that shape then in front so it jumps and looks at those N numbers and then says okay this is what he wants to do and then we've got the U.2 which is the finishing allowance in X um, and the W.1, which is the finishing allowance in Z, and then the D, which is a depth of cut, we've got a feed rate, and really that's all there is to it. So, effectively, that's going to give us this um, 
uh, all that code that we had before this is going to do it so far on this video we've used the uh, Haas version of the G71 or the old Fanuc one line uh, way of doing the G71 which personally I think is much simpler and easier to use but Fanuc in their wisdom changed this um, and if you look on the right here you'll see that this one is a two line display uh, it's, there's no difference really the only difference is if you look at that R figure there that is um, that is for your like a retract so as it's doing the uh, cuts you can tell it how much you want it to pull away on each cut um, this will stay in as a default value um, and the U uh, now is the depth of cut and the D has been taken out so it's quite simple really that's the difference between the two so that's all you need to know really now you can put loads of sequence numbers in if you want I never bother because I just think it confuses the issue um, you can sequence the whole lot you can sequence the whole program but I only ever use these at strategic points where I think they're really necessary and the great thing about this doing it this way is you do get clarity because you can actually see the end numbers quite clearly and you're not going to get them mixed up because if you add extra lines or you start modifying anything on this you're going to get quite confused and the other thing that I always do is I always use higher end numbers in other words in the 100 series because if you're like me and you use end numbers for your tool numbers then <clears throat> again you could get confused because don't forget when it does this cycle it's actually jumping and finding those end numbers so if they occur somewhere else you're going to have big problems so if I've got loads of these cycles in my program I'd probably use 100 101 for the first one 200 201 the second 300 301 the third and that sort of thing you're not going to have hundreds of these things so you'll probably never get that eye with your numbers use your own um you know your own sort of way of doing this um pick your own numbers you know that's what it's all about but uh uh simplicity is the is the main thing with programming always try and keep it in clarity always think that if you are a programmer then that operator he is your customer so you want him to be able to understand your program easily so i've completed this part now as regards the roughing and i just want to finish turning so um again if i write this all long and i'd call the tool out again obviously we're going to face it and then go around the shape again but this time taking off whatever's left on that finishing allowance what I'm going to do this time is uh, I'm not going to write it all longhand where well, the beauty of using a G71 is all you need to do is later on you can call out your next tool it doesn't matter where you are call out your finishing tool it can be right at the end of the program if you want and then just start your spindle up do all your normal stuff get the tool into position just like you would uh, on your roughing cycle you can see that 127x and 2z2 you bring it to there and then all you need to do is just call out your g70 um, with the same P and Q number um, and your uh, control will jump to that bit of program and you can put cutter compensation and everything tool nose radius compensation into this and it will all work um, and it will just finish it so it will take off whatever you left on for finishing and the job's done so again it makes it nice and easy uh, to work it's just using the um, the two numbers, the P and the Q. So it starts at the P and ends at the Q. When it gets to the Q, it knows it's done that bit and jumps back to where your G70 was and carries on from there. So don't forget, if you found this video useful, uh, then hit the uh, subscribe button or hit the bell uh, to get notifications when I post other videos.